Like yogis, uh, they, they raise kundalini and they clean their chakras. But the devotees who do seva uh, also uh, acquire the same, uh, the same quality. Like Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, he became a Siddha Purush in Haridwar. Uh, he was doing any yoga, pranayama, all this. Uh, only sit down because he already had done the past life. Uh, you follow? So he able to sit and chant. For three months, he was chanting Maha Mantra. And suddenly, he see the head darshan with the Gurnita in Haridwar, not in Navarvip. The, 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 the land of, of Gurnita is Navarvip. Uh, the Lila was there. But uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj had a darshan with Gurnita in Haridwar. Uh, so you can have darshan anywhere, practically. Because because when you become sincere, God, God can appear. God has no problem of space. Huh? That uh, you must this door should rest down to bring down another river. Huh? This uh, place, everything, everything belongs to God. Huh? And if there is a tirtha, a tirtha means what? Huh? An ashram huh? or a temple anywhere in the world, huh? except God by devotees or your Gurudev, that is a holy place. Like this 15th floor, huh? a miniature holy place huh? established by here, huh? in the universe. And your home is also it can be theater, Marangupal, uh, if you do daily puja. And, and so many sadhus go there and, and they give and say, well, then becomes. But the pride has to be removed. The two. I am proud of my advancement. I'm proud of my karma. Be simple. Huh? And dedicated to the cause. <laughs> and it's easy. It's easy that uh, we are not um, uh, uh, taken away by all these external things. Huh? We, he, he, you see, he, he, even too much knowledge can be a, a danger. Huh? The gopis didn't learn nothing zero. Only they had so much natural attraction to us, Krishna. Huh? And they've been elevated to the highest platform. They didn't learn the Vedas. Huh? They didn't serve nobody. Huh? But uh, by the grace of Krishna and uh, affection of Krishna, they've been elevated. Huh? So, even them, uh, when they got, became proud uh, of this good fortune, Krishna left them. Alfred also was left when he would start to think that how fortunate he is. Uh, immediately Krishna disappeared. Uh. Krishna can tolerate so many things, but one thing, uh, he overlooks so many defects in us, but he, he, he never tolerate in a devoting pride. And uh, how we can observe this that Krishna distinctly, huh? That Krishna doesn't tolerate pride. What is his decoration in Krishna? Huh? Peacock. Peacock. Yes. And what is the um, um, uh, figurative language? Huh? Figurative language interpretation of, of a peacock? Yes. Yes, right. So Krishna is a destroyer of pride, huh? Represented by the peacock. That's why he will speak of feather. Huh? You feel? Yes. His favorite. <laughs> to smash the devotees in pride. <laughs> His favorite uh, pastime, you know. <laughs> we can experience. <laughs> huh? Not the Russian dance, huh? <laughs> no, the Russian dance, no. <laughs> Pico Pila. <laughs> oh, proud, 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 proud. And also he does, uh, he does uh, with Radharani competition. Uh, both Krishna and Radha assume the form of a peacock and then they do uh, dancing, huh? And the hope is uh, the jury, you know? Yeah. They, okay, test uh, one point Radha, uh, two points Krishna, three points Radha, half point Krishna. Uh, who's going to win? Huh? And most of the time Radha wins. 
Even Radha is playing better flute player. She's better flute player than Krishna. Radha huh? out of Krishna. Okay. No question asking anything? No? <laughs> no question. Don't want to ask anything. <laughs> So, why, why is Shadanagar? Why ask a question? <laughs> okay, see. Uh, it is very simple, this Sharanagati, but why do we have a problem to apply it in daily life, in practical situation? Because you haven't surrendered fully. That's why. So, how to? How to surrender? You have to do it daily, you have to practice it for a long time. You see, from morning to evening, uh, you have to contemplate uh, how to serve uh, Guru, Sadhu, Guru, Vaishnav. And not just Sadhu, Guru, Vaishnav, but any situation, a practical situation you find, a uh, life situation, to uh, deal with, with anyone in this world, uh, leads you to surrender. To accept the mood and the will of God how to live your life. You see, it's a question of how to apply your life in relationship with someone again with Krishna. You know the question of surrender. The surrender comes automatically. Huh? How you read that Shastra, how you understand, how you remember, how you chant, how you do your offering and cook. Huh? When, like for example, you make a paid offering. Did you offer, right? No, you have to. Have you put a flower in the middle? Yes, that's yes. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> so if you have <laughs> such, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So, so if you if you have, uh, you you really cook for somebody and you love somebody, then you make a special arrangement. Uh, even you organize the plate that is attractive, mm. huh? Mm. Decoration. A decoration, you see. Huh? Mm. So if you decorate your murti, also you put nice clothes according to their. You try to sti stimulate your mind or meditate on what she wants to wear. And she will influence you that today is the, uh, the yellow dress or white or any, any, any I, you see. Because you ask them, not according to your desire, no, you want polachinke? <laughs> or or meeting on the one of the polishing yeah. And then you give it to the date, you offer it and you eat. Huh? You follow? So you have to be with them. Just like in Chetan Chagrimita, right? You know the story of one uh, one devotee, huh? Who who had to go somewhere. I don't remember his name. And uh, he said to a pujari that he offers some food, some fruits, banana to the Murti. So uh, those days also, the Pujaris are generally very intelligent. Eh? So he offered the whole bench. Can you imagine uh, uh, about uh, 50 banana uh, on one <laughs> bench? <laughs> so he gave all, all, all the Krishna. So he saw the problem to worry about, you know, offering it every day. Eh? Because he can, he can munch on that all day, eh? eat Krishna he wants. Eh? Even you took the, the you didn't take the, the trouble to take it off, you know, but and the whole thing you just give it to the meat. Uh, this is the Pujari, right? <laughs> so this is the coming after three days and immediately goes to his see his his murti, his deity, his, his special deity. And he sees that he's sick. He's he's pale, his nose is running. Huh? <laughs> Coughing. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then immediately he, he understood what's happened. He asked the Pujari, said, Did you give the, the, the bananas? Yes. And how many? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> Too many bananas goes cold. <laughs> so immediately Kaviraj was called, Kaviraj, doctor, and then was, the medicine was given to, to Krishna. <laughs> you see, the Bras Murti. You're mad. But not this fellow, because he see exactly the condition of Krishna, he was sick. Huh? So this is how you can observe huh, the relationship with you. If you really have real faith in this mood, the mood you can talk and walk, as you have seen in the Shakshi Gopal. Huh? 
God can manifest it even for a picture we can talk. Huh? That picture became alive because it transcendental became transcendental. Huh? He says uh, that uh, God has no feet, yet he walks everywhere. God has no hands, yet he touches everything. God has no eyes, but he sees everything, and God has no ears, but he hears everything. Huh? So if uh, you have this kind of experience, and all the day, every day you meditate on uh, how to be with him, have you ever hugged Krishna? Give, give, her, give him a hug? Ah, did you hug him? Yes. Many times. You go. Not many times, but when I am. How many times? A day. Not many times. Now you see. Only like this. 